What's up guys, welcome back to another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Precision Series Flow and Precision Series Fillmore. So of course, these two were both released, I believe in around spring, summer of 2017, you know, last year. And Fillmore was in the third wave, while Flow was in the fourth wave by herself. So, I actually acquired these a couple weeks ago, and I've had them, you know, in my filming studio for a while now and I've been really looking forward to reviewing them and since I usually don't really review two cars in like the same video I, I don't really do that as much as I used to so I thought you know why not do it this time because even though these two aren't well they weren't released in the same way they were released in the same year and are both a part of the precision series so let's go ahead and let's take a look at flow first so, of course, you've got the really cool license plate that says Showgirl with the Carburetor County on it as well. And then on the back, it has some info on her. Like, her, she is a 1957 Motorama show car. She has a small block V8 engine. She is American, of course. Her hometown is Detroit, Michigan. And, of course, her color is turquoise. So, let's go ahead and now and take a look at Fillmore, and then we'll open up flow review her and then we'll open up Fillmore and then review him so then here is Fillmore as well you can see his license plate reads 51237 of course it's accurate but on the back it has the same kind of info like his model is a 1960 Volkswagen transporter of course he uses organic fuel oil and brake shoes and it goes 0 to 60 miles per hour and then it says why the rush man that's kind of funny because that definitely seems like something Filmer would say. So let's go ahead and open up Flow first. So as these do take a while, I'm just going to cut right to where I have her all opened up and she's loose. So, a little problem with opening up Precision Series Flow. So as I'm trying to open her, taking off the plastic case, right? Pretty easy. And then I tried to unscrew the screws at the base. Nothing is happening. I'm trying for about 40 minutes trying to unscrew the screws, but it's not doing anything because they're in there so tightly. And I believe this exact same thing happened to RC Cars 5, and he had to review it with the base on. And yes, I am blaming this on Mattel as well because it's not just me who had this problem. So that's just very, very, very just stupid. And they need to work on that. Like, this. Uh, I think it's just for Precision Series Flow. This is like the only time I've had to review a Precision Series car with it on the base because I can't do anything to get the screws out. I tried so hard and then ended up scratching the base a lot. But, yeah. So, I tried my best. I just could not do it. I was digging the screwdriver so hard into the screw. It wasn't doing anything. So, I do apologize, guys. But I will have to review Precision Series Flow on the base but I hope you are okay with that and we won't be able to show the base or anything like that but you know I don't think that's a big deal since you could see you know the like her whole entire body I don't think you guys really care about the base that much but but let's just get into the review so of course she's on the same precision series base and of course we have the keychain which reads showgirl which is spelled s-h-o-g-r-l with the carburetor on top and then the county on the bottom so that's really cool that they have the license plates as you know the keychain which is really cool and then it has all the info in there which was pretty much just on the back of her box so that's kind of cool but it also shows her personality which isn't on the back of there it's a set she is very sassy funny and helpful and that definitely suits Flo and of course she's married to Ramon and she owns Flo's V8 cafe she has a small block V8 engine and a custom one-of-a-kind body so Flo is definitely a great character so let's get into you know her physical features so you can see how her hood opens up like all of the other precision series cars out of hoods so that's pretty cool you can see like the engine and stuff looks very nice very detailed of course she's got the nice smiling expression with the turquoise color and then on the back it says showgirl as always you can kind of there we go. Let's just kind of, you, know, you can kind of just see it from a far distance. And then, of course, her tires are rubber, just like all of the rest. And she's got green eyes. And then here, 
You can see here on the back, she's got the, her tail lights. And then here's another side view. So of course you all know how flow looks like for sure, but also here is a comparison to the flow that was released with the set, Flow's V8 Cafe. And of course her engine does well, not not her engine does not open. Her hood does not open. You can see here the expressions are pretty much the same. The eyes are a little bit bigger on the single precision series flow. And I definitely like the precision series flow a bit better than the flow that was released with her cafe. Because I think <clears throat> the flow on the base, um, excuse me, this little part, you know, where it's like on the side, where it's kind of like a white color, white, whitish gray, is actually a lot more yellow on the flow released with the, with her V8 cafe because you could tell here on both sides, the color is definitely a lot different. You could see a huge difference between the two. So it is nice if they changed them up a little bit. And then the license plate is a lot smaller on the single Precision Series Flow. And then also the back windows look a little bit different. The, the single Precision Series Flow definitely has a darker colored window and looks a lot more of like a dark gray. Same thing with the side windows as well. So there is the comparison with both of the flows. And of course the flow that was released with the set has the headlights work. While the single flow does not. She has an opening hood while she has light up headlights. So that's really cool. So once again I do apologize guys that I wasn't able to get flow off of the base. That really like, ah oh, man that really made me disappointed because I just forgot that that was how it was like for a couple other people that got Precision Series Flow where the screws were in there so tight you cannot do anything to get them unscrewed. So once again, I do apologize for that. But nonetheless, I hope you did enjoy the review of the single Precision Series Flow. Nonetheless, she has a great diecast. So now we are moving on to Precision Series Fillmore. So, of course, I already showed you guys, you know, the front and the back, which which is a nice picture of him in Radiator Springs. And it has the adult collector reminder on the bottom left side. <clears throat> Excuse me. And now, of course, let's go ahead and open him up and hopefully doesn't have the same problem that Precision Series Flow had. Fingers crossed, guys. Guess who's not on the base? Precision Series Fillmore. We did not have the same bad luck that we did with Precision Series Flow over here, which I'm very, very happy about. So, it actually was still pretty hard, but wasn't hard enough that I actually couldn't get him off of the base. So, that's really good. Let's go ahead and just jump right in. So, of course, they've got the, both of the filmers have been released. They both have, oh, you know, I almost forgot something. Let's also take, like, the little plastic off of this real quick. All right. And then, there we go. All right, yeah, I forgot a couple of parts, but anyways. So, of course, this is the single Fillmore. That is, base is actually a little bit more brown, while the Fillmore that was released with his taste in is just all black. And their expressions are kind of, like, pretty much the same. The single Fillmore seems to be smiling a little bit, and there seems to be a little bit of a... Of a distinct color difference between the two because they both are you know they both have like kind of like the same tur turquoise color as flow does but the single film more definitely has a little bit it looks a little bit different like the shade of green so that's kind of cool and then the stars are definitely a lot different smaller and they look a lot more gold while on the the film where that was released with the set has them a lot more bigger and are just kind of look a lot more just yellow and then on the side, all of the illustrations on them look a lot more jazzy and just a lot more just booming while the ones on the singles Precision Series feel more because, you know, like the colors are a lot less booming as they are on the film that was released with the taste in. So you could see a nice little comparison there. And the wheels look a little bit different as well. You can tell the rims have changed just a little bit. I would say I like the film that was released as a single better, but tell me your 
guys' thoughts in the comment section below. Which flow do you like out of the one, like which one do you like better, the one that was released with the set or as a single? And same thing for these two filmers, which one do you like better? And then you could see here on the back, looks very nice and detailed as always. And what's actually kind of cool is on the back, the back part opens as well, which you cannot do on the filmer that was released with the set. But they do like, they, they do look pretty similar to each other. The window color is actually pretty different as well. It's just, it looks a lot, like the color seems to be a little bit more pink on the filmer that was released as a single. And then the one that was released with the set looks a little bit more of a dark grayish blue color. So I definitely like the two, but I like the filmer that was released as a single better. So that would be this one. So that will do it for the two reviews of Precision Series Flow and Precision Series Filmware. So once again, I apologize guys about Flow and how I couldn't get her off of the base. I hope this never happens again because it surely upset me. So hopefully, fingers crossed that will not happen again. And hopefully it doesn't happen to you guys as well because it really sucks. But nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed this review because I certainly did as always. And these keychains are very nice as well. I gotta find like a real display to put these all in. But anyways, we'll see you guys next time for another review. Peace.